Um, my biggest thing is I don't understand why every single year, every single year when I watch the Summer Olympics, I don't understand why there are not more black people in rowing. <laughs> now I'm just saying, after 400 years of slavery, we're probably naturally the shit at rowing. Oh, yes. Like, I would think that that would be the team. Like, the, once the nigger team shows up in rowing, I'm sure the white people will be scared shitless. I should yeah. not. You know what I mean? Like, because you always see the American team and, like, the Canadian team, they're always battling it out. You know what I mean? The German team and shit. What about the niggers, man? How come niggers didn't get in a row? We rowed ourselves over to this fucking continent. Oh. I'm pretty sure if we fucking rowed across the Atlantic, we can do, you know, the, a quarter mile. It's not going to be a problem. I tell you one thing, if there was an all-black team, it'd scare the shit out of them white people, man. I know it. Because, see, the white people, they'd be all sponsored by Puma and shit, and they'd have their numbers and their last names. Oh, we're the Canadian team. Whatever. Right? They'd all brag, oh, we've won bronze in the last four years, and we just hope to get a gold this year, blah, 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 blah. And then the nigger team shows up. <laughs> Fucking holes in the t-shirts, welts on the back and shit. We got the fucking long dragon boat, they named the boat the slaves. <laughs> the white people would be like, oh my god. <laughs> One white guy on the team, the fucking captain. Row, nigger, row! Row! Row, nigger, row! <laughs> the Jamaicans are winning by about four bowl lengths. <laughs> the Cuban team is second. They're just gonna keep rowing. For some strange reason. <laughs> How did they get 19 people on that boat?